When Master Evil comes to play And Mama says that it's okay Alex and Josh are stole away And made to watch these movies To stay alive until the day they Repeated Horizons. Yeah, this is the same exact production company. There's Roger the Corman. seal of awesomeness right there. He's made some really good budget movies. John Savage, Ben Savage's father. Well, it's actually Randy Savage's second cousin. Ah. Oh, yeah! You hear about hear about my cousin? Yeah, Carnosaur 2, yeah! It's the cream of the crop. <laughs> oh, yeah. The cream of the crop, yeah. And you may not like it, but you're going to have to live with it, yeah. <laughs> I've soared with the eagles and I've slithered with the snakes, yeah. There he is, Ryan Thomas Johnson. Oh, here comes the recap. Every movie needs a recap. Every sequel does. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> No, we don't. This isn't Friday the 13th. We don't need to have an opening scene that's like telling us what happened in the previous. Wow, it's not a Rocky Gale movie. Nunez Jr. He is in like every beat movie from the 90s. I swear to God. As soon as you see him, you're going to be like, yep, I know I know who he is. This is Neith, Neith Hunter. His name's Keith Hunter, but they just said fuck it. <laughs> They're like, we're not going back in post. Fuck that. And, oh my god, they got Don Stroud for this movie? The Don Stroud. The Don Stroud. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> you know, you know, he was in Carnosaur 2. <laughs> Carnosaur II. Right? You know who he is. Come on. These guys actually didn't want their names on the special creature design uh, credit. They're like, we don't want actually people to know that we did that. As the sun sets on the dinosaur death. <laughs> the sun sets on this beloved franchise. We say we're going to keep going. Okay, this looks like <laughs> the boiler room. This is straight from Nightmare on Elm Street. It's all like, welcome to my nightmare, bitch. <laughs> Bad sequence. <laughs> they started out at the Friday the 13th and the first one, and now we're in the fucking boiler room. Here come the dinos! <laughs> oh god, that would be my worst nightmare. He just played Carnosaur on loop. This dinosaur needs a steady cam. <laughs> uh, you better bring some electrical tape. Okay, now who is this guy? Is this a is this a cop or is he working like? What is this guy's position? Is he a miner? <laughs> He's a dinosaur miner. <laughs> thanks, not, even, thanks. not even mining dinosaur bones. Dinosaurs. <laughs> they're mining fucking, dinosaurs. They're mining full-blown dinosaurs. It's just me, the dinosaur. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is he, a cowboy miner? Oh, exactly. my God. There's, is that a giant cicada? Can you hear it? Oh man, here we go. They they didn't even wait. They wasted no time. There's our boy right there. God, he was it, young. His hair is feathered and lethal. I'm gonna have to ask him what he did with the hair. We need to somehow get a wig to him to where he could have the hair like that when we're interviewing him. <laughs> like when Mark Paul Gossler wore the Zach Morris hair in the Jimmy Fallon sketch. Oh my God. With, with Kelly pregnant, that was yeah. 
Yeah. That was hilarious. That was great. Hey, there's Mr. Belding. Exactly. <laughs> Big bopper. Oh, there's the, the lizard in a dinosaur movie trope. There's a dinosaur down here. What the hell? They're supposed to be in the third country. I'm pretty sure these uh, sparking wires hanging down from the ceiling are probably a problem. Yeah, first, also stand on low. First of all, they're not even grounded. <laughs> well, they're touching the ground, by God. That's a grounded in our book. Come again? These uh, headsets are fake. Dude, don't call women that. Just get her out of the ceiling. Jesus. This guy's gum chewing is distracting the living shit out of me. Night of the living shit. We don't have any equipment for something like this. Carnosaur 2. Oh, that feedback is loud. I'm going to uh, take a look around and I'll be up. Well, that definitely wasn't Alan Grant because he wouldn't have lost his hat. Even if he died, he'd take it with him. That actor looks like he did not want to touch that lizard. Yeah, I know. He's like, God, this isn't a freaking script. Just a lizard! <laughs> Hey, dynamite! Yeah. <laughs> Industrial strength flame, I did. Uh, excuse me, I'm here for the ILWU Longshoremen's uh, Hall meeting. <laughs> I was told there'd be punch and pie. Hold it right there. Punch and pie, right? <laughs> Hold it right there. You're not in the union. I want you to get up to the surface right now. You tell your dad I'm going to be calling him. Yes, sir. Look at me. This was really stupid, Jess. We were just trying to have a little fun. Fun? Damn it, Jess. Do you realize there's a lot of damage down here? Come on, I'm going to get you out of here before somebody else finds out about it. Come on, move. Where are they at exactly? I'm not, I'm kind of confused on their location. Are they mining for something? They're mining for uh, <laughs> they're mining for money right now. This is a cash grab. <laughs> What could we make that would turn a profit really quickly and for no money uh, in the production? I know. Carnosaur 2. Carnosaur 2, back for another bite. That was the real tagline, by the way. <laughs> I can't believe Carnosaur 2 didn't get hooked up with Burger King or McDonald's and they didn't issue you know, like commemorative you know, collector's cups. with How value. your way? So this, Jesse just gets to operate uh, the heavy machinery. I wonder if he's certified. What would OSHA have to say about this, Josh? I'll be in the mess. I'll be in the mess. I'll be in the mess hall. He's all, I'll be, I'll be near the ball of exposed, ungrounded wires. You're pushing it, Jesse. You know that. It said it was okay. Come on, come on. Jesse can't catch a break. Poor Jesse. So they have an espresso bar on this facility's uh, property. Apparently. Oh, those damn coyotes again. Every night. Them coyotes are bad. I'm going to go beat the shit out of a few of them. You know, 
<laughs> if I had my spotlight, I'd tell you I'd take down a couple of them coyotes. This is a government facility, Jess. They don't mess around. Cables, what are you talking about? Look, don't lie to me. Do you realize the position this puts me in? 69. <laughs> this isn't a believable scene. I'll tell you why. If, if, Je if Jesse's age appropriate for a teenager, he'd be stacking those sugar packets and those creamers. I got something for you, boy. It's a good sweeping. <laughs> you like this here broom? He looks like he's trying to find Ratatouille. Ratatouille, where are you? You a boopity boppity boopity beepity. <laughs> hey, where's the rat that's been helping, huh? I'm gonna give it to a broom. <laughs> He looks like it. Oh, more, more, more cicadas, man. Here we go. The giant cicada. It's just, whoa! It makes, it makes barrels fly before it even gets to it. He got attacked by a bowling ball. It sounded like cicadas coming at him. Take it in, just crickets or something. Stay here. Hey, the power's off. It must be. It must have been that wad of un of exposed electrical wires. Zippity boppity! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, his name's Zeb. Somebody Zeb. killed him. Oh no, it's another cicada. Man, he just got bitch slapped across the bar. That raptor, or whatever it is, is making a damn mess. The raptor, the, ra the, the raptor just entered the Royal Rumble and he's a fresh body. He's cleaning house. He's like, get this Katie did out of my throat, please. <laughs> the raptor's fired up like never before seen. This is getting intense, folks. He just hit him in the bread basket with the <laughs> bread basket. <laughs> the raptor just attacked the lower abdominal area. I can't believe I'm at the airport. I'm so wasted. Well, time to go work out. <laughs> hey, that's the Flash's locker. Get out of that. In the halls of justice. <laughs> locker <I'm>, room. <laughs> time to go work out. <laughs> it's Team Flash's locker room, dude. Check that out. What is he? What is he putting that on his head for? It's an open can. There's nothing in it. It's not cold. <laughs> <laughs> he loves the fill of metal. Yeah. What, what is it? What is it? What is Here's that? Here's our Ian Malcolm right here, by the way. Call him my ass. Me up at four o'clock in the goddamn morning. He's. I actually like this actor. He's dead now, but he's in Carnosaur two and three as different people. Oh, okay. So he. he there's a guy that's in Return of the Living Dead one, two, and three, and he's a different person in all three. Scud, or Scuzz, or whatever his name is. Triple platinum overtime for this shit. Talking about Tom Matthews, was he in all of them, or just the first? Two? No, Tom Matthews was in the first and second one. Yeah, first and um, second. The one who's one of the punk, the punk guy who oh, gets yeah, yeah, his head yeah, yeah, eaten. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, you hey. Him? ooh, baby. Uh, the one he's in. Yeah. Uh, Jason lives. He's in Return of the Living Dead. He's in all that. That's what I was saying, Nunez Jr., uh, Miguel Nunez Jr. He's I love Jr. him. Joanna Man. I tried writing him to see if he would do, like, a shout-out, but he, he's, he's got a lot of stuff going these days. That would have been phenomenal. I know. I loved him in Leprechaun in Space. Yeah, he's, he's, got, he's actually worked consistently all throughout the 80s, all throughout the 90s, all throughout the 2000s. He's still working today. Couldn't get Michael Ironside, so we got this guy. <laughs> oh my God, dude! I know you don't know this, but that's Brad Majors from Shock Treatment behind him. The guy that took over the role of Brad in the sequel to Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's him, right there. Yeah, he's he's Brad in Shock Treatment. Cliff the Young. Dinosaurs killing people. You know the normal startup problems. <laughs> I wonder if that guy's name is number two, the one right next to him, because he's got the eye patch. <laughs> this is my associate number two. It's spendable. And I want it done in two hours. 
taking radiation sensing equipment along. He's all, I didn't put this at, I didn't put this outfit on to not go fishing later. So let's get this shit done, guys. Chop, chop. All he's missing is lures on that vest, and he's going fishing. Because I don't like problems. What's your name? I don't like problems. I like solutions. And I like puzzles, too. And I like them uh, riddles. You know, the two-liners? Those are fun. Word searches. Crossword puzzles are all right. Sudoku. I don't like problems. Let's get our gear on and get out of here. What did he throw at him? A boot pick? Is he is he the bad guy now? Movie's oozing something, but it's not Vegeta. Yeah, it's oozing the budget. Team Flash to the rescue. Hey, you know Michael McDonald from Mad TV? Yeah. He's he's in this movie in part. He play. He's all. Look what I can do. Look what I can do. I'm sure he was. Somebody's like. I said, look what I can do, and they're like, Carlos, don't look at what I did. Look, look at what I can do. Don't look at what I did. He's, uh, I, we've talked about him before, but he's great. He's I'll really good. Real sassy. Uh, There's even... no Ian Malcolm right there, the guy over there. And uh, I'll pull point out our Alan Grant in a second. That, the guy uh, in front of Miguel Nunez uh, is, our, is our Alan Grant. Don't really low to the ground for him. Just saying. That's MASH, by the way, in case uh, yeah. you slash a holics don't know. <laughs> I'm still wearing funny pajamas, by the way. And he's like, I despise that song. My father was killed for that song. But it's funny to get him with it. With the uh, Anvil, my last name's Fudd, by the way, if you were wondering. Man, could that helicopter get any lower to the frickin' ground for the, the love of God? The helicopter tour place was like, we'll let you film the tour for your movie, but we're not going higher than five feet from the ground. Man, helicopters scare me, Josh. I uh, am not a fan of helicopters. Oh, man, I had a nightmare once that one was chasing me, trying to kill me. <laughs> Man will fly one day, like a rock. Frequency disturbance? Yeah, whatever. Just put it on the ground, please. Okay, give me half a second. We're already there, like this far from the ground. How come every? Yeah, exactly. How come every character is chewing gum in this film? She's also chewing gum. We're getting ready for the kissy scenes. God. These people apparently didn't have sixth grade geometry class with me, because uh, anyone who chewed gum rude the day. I'd love to see like their whole like twenty minute flight, you know, and they're just like an inch above the ground the whole time from point A to point B. Yeah. This is probably the in the building. This is the second best helicopter scene I've seen, uh, right behind Predator. Ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom. Mo, he's our door opener. He's real good with knobs. Did you say ACAB? What's that mean? No, he actually said up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B, select, start. Oh, Konami code. Got yeah. It. Yeah. They need 99 lives to get through this film. 99 lives. It's actually 30 lives, I think, but for Contra. One. <laughs> Have you ever tried to play Contra without the 30 life code? It's impossible. No dice. You used to rent so many Nintendo games and regret it because I suck. <laughs> Call, call the Nintendo uh, guide uh, counselor people. <laughs> Have you ever tried to play the first Metal Gear on Nintendo? Oh my god, yeah. It's almost impossible. I can't get past the dogs. Kind of like all. Silver Surfer. Oh my god, that game is so hard. Yeah, I have that. I have my Nintendo uh, Mini modded out, so I have that game. And yes, it's extremely hard. Well, they had one hell of a bachelor party here. This is the beginning of the movie Very Bad Things. 
this is the aftermath of the hangover. <laughs> they do not want to check the videotape on this one. <laughs> you told me I wasn't Jesus good enough Christ to get this. Jesus Christ is on the team? Damn, dude, I think they're going to be all right. She just said, Jesus Christ, take a look at this. You know, so, some some servers just, when they get their tips, they take off and leave and don't clean up anything. Come on, man. It's, 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 <laughs> I, there's Janice again. She didn't reset any of the tables or sweep. Damn hotel clerk from... Oh, here we go. I feel so bad. The dinosaur... Rejected me. <laughs> it ate all the others, but it didn't eat me. All right, isn't there like some point or something? Oh yeah, the slithery, the slithery D came out of the sea. It ate all the others, but it didn't eat me. <laughs> Scary stories tell in the dark. Folks. I never got to read very many of those books because my grade school, uh, Where's Waldo and Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, were always checked out. Dude, they got a hell of a gaming chair there. Check that out. Yeah, yeah that dick in your hands. What do you think? Mr. You dick. Ideas, I mean, your everyday problem. Yeah, yeah. You think any of these guys know who Mr. Dick is? Yeah, they're looking at each other. I'll never get over that Ghoulie scene, man. Shit. Ghoulie's, um, I think, is still... Yeah, right here. Hold on, he's trying to talk. Hold on. What? <laughs> I think Ghoulie's, for, for my money, is the worst one that we've been forced to watch still. It's like they're like when you run through, push up on the the door because it's gonna come back down. They're like, and for the love of God, be careful. We need this set for Jason X. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they're like Miguel. Just kind of improv. Just say a bunch of shit and gibberish while you press the buttons. Yeah, just go over there. And if you want to sing "Ooh Baby," go ahead. Then Miguel's like, God damn enchiladas. <laughs> yep. It's it's a really bad case of dinosaur rejection. What the whole place, Ben? It's it's the the administration, the the uh other words, uh 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 humans, uh uh God, uh uh something tore it to shreds. Attack. Why is she wearing um like high, huh? Why is she wearing high vis uh <laughs> high vis gear? Is she gonna go throw some garbage cans? <laughs> What's with the stri with the strip of like reflective material? It's for when she goes jogging at night. Damn, Jesse gave him a karate well, kick from hell. In his defense, right before this happened, he was doing the hokey pokey and putting his left foot out. <laughs> He's having a bad flashback of a twister matchup. Dude, you're the guy in charge. You're getting out of there. You're asking what the hell's going on? Right foot face, Jesse. Come on, we're out of here. No, 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 no. We're not going anywhere until we get direct orders. You're still working for me. So get your people back into operations and let's get this place up and running. And I want to be on the lake by 0600 hours. A Galloway, you'll fly us out. Yeah, because you've got wings. They're like, we can't afford Christopher Cross. Well, we need a Whistler-esque type guy. I can fly you out of here, but I cannot go higher than five feet. <laughs> yeah, you know what the song that should have been playing when the helicopter was uh, going? Can you take me higher? No, nope. nope, sure can't. Sorry. <laughs> Give the kid a blanket. Jesus Christ. Oh, for the love of God. He's terrified. He's had a hell of a night. He's hopped up on espresso. Thanks. All right, kid. They're almost gone. I'm gonna make you a man. Boy, go be a man soon. Now that everybody's left, Jesse, we can finally watch do Always Sunny. Do. Yeah, I've seen Always Sunny in Philadelphia. My favorite episode is when they try to do the Wade Boggs challenge. I was gonna do this the song from the Nightman Cometh. Boy, little boy, lovely boy, I love you. <laughs> 
You that gotta group pay of, the troll so to get the boy soul. That group of people on Always Sunny, they're like the group of people on Seinfeld, but just turned up to ten. They're oh, like God. way worse. I swear that 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 uh, the main guy, I can't think of his name for the life of me right now, has has is a sexual predator. I am convinced. His name is Charlie something. He's in uh, horrible. No, not Charlie. Charlie's just the dumb one that kills rats. I'm talking about the twins, the guy twi- or the, the brother and sister. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the uh, you, you know the girl in that show. Uh, you watched. You probably. Why would you know this? She went to University of Oregon in Eugene, the town I live in. Oh, cool. Yeah, so she's kind of famous around here. Her last name's Olsen. Yep, at, yeah, yes. Glenn Howard is the guy. They're married in real life, aren't they? I don't know. That, I'm Jack pretty Stewart sure they are. To his sister. I'm pretty sure they are in real life. Or don't. it's unsafe, guys. Yeah, do Fuck not hit D and E. A, B, and C are fine. D and E is a no. That woman's waiting for this to get done. She's got some tombs to raid. <laughs> there hasn't been a kill since the opening scene. They're not following the rules very well here. Uh-uh. He's like, how do I get this damn Atari working? <laughs> All right, we need you to sit there and bitch some more. Can you do that for us? Miguel, uh, yeah. we're going to hand you the world's first Palm Pilot. Have at it, bud. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At one part they say put it on the big screen And the screen's like this big <laughs> <laughs> Put it on the big screen son The giant 17 incher Kid that I barely know I'm here for you He likes the Dodgers I can relate to this boy I draft. I was a draft Dodger Is your name Dodger? That's, that's weird. My name is Jill. Is your name Dodger? Are you a are you a are you a Jesse fan? Then I killed him in his sleep like this. Oh shit! Someone's here. Are you administering the blue Kool Aid to him? Yeah, they have. A, it's not hooked up to anything. There's no. There's nothing to, from the bag going to him though. Get that Capri Sun stat. We're having a flashback of the opening scene. Dino Nom flashbacks here. It's all in pieces. Oh, there was that shot that's behind me. You can see it. They can't see it because all they can hear is our voices. This scene is going on a long time. When I get back, we're gonna, we're gonna. We're going to go to Paris. I swear to God. It looks like he's going to puke. Like he's trying to hold him puke. Like his mouth's getting all watery. <laughs> Jesse, if you ever get unstrapped from this bed, I want you to go to a maiden hayfield, and you're going to find a rock <laughs> under a, under an oak tree, and it's going to look like it doesn't belong there. You're going to have to pry it up. And I promise, in the 40 years since I put it there, <laughs> nothing has been built there. They haven't, they haven't put in any in any uh, housing units or, or Walmarts or anything. It's surely still there. What's what's there, guy I don't know, just met? You're going oh to pry it up. This camera is that woman's watching from the afterlife. Got... Level scene two. About 20 yards ahead. That's two tens, Monk. Oh, that's real cute, Monk. Is that your sperm count or your IQ? I feel bad for Miguel. He deserves better than this film. Yes, he does. He deserves leprechaun for the face. He just deserves better. He he. I like him. Push up on the door. It's gonna fall. Put one foot in front of the other. How come you guys only get a hold of me when you want to ride? Cause you one spooky son of a bitch suicide. <laughs> hey baby. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey baby. Hey, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. <laughs> hey, when uh, Reggie the Reckless comes in his van, and uh, he's talking to his little brother, you know, and he's like, hey, 
You want some pizza? You want some lasagna? You want some enchiladas? You want a burger? How does he happen to have all those different kinds of food in his van? I know, right? <laughs> like every, he's got everything. He's got every kind of food that you could possibly want. He works at the food court at all. Yeah, he's like, hey, I got Sbarro's, huh, Reggie? Huh? He's got the damn Ghostbuster thing right there, man. Now don't worry, it's checked out safe at that level. What's that called? What? In Ghostbusters, the thing, the the thing Egon and Ray and them hold. Spectrometer or I can't remember. What got me crazy. EKG device. EKG. EKG. Cardio. EVP. VIP. Josh Larue. It's all left. It's not right. All I know, Josh, is that it has some sort of abbreviation. <laughs> Put a pamper on it, too. Last time I did what you told me to do, I lost a goddamn eye. Is that clear? Hey, Hand me that PKE hey, meter. Hey, on, yep, nailed, nailed it. PKE meter. Nailed it. I thought I was close with the EKG. EKG, <laughs> check my heart rate. Find <laughs> that ghost and check my heart rate. Hey, check, Peter, check the ghost's heart rate. <laughs> It's zero. <laughs> <laughs> if it gets above or below zero, we've got problems. Exactly. <laughs> it's either not dead or it is dead. Or it's too dead. Yeah, it's too dead. It's below zero. <laughs> uh oh, the T Rex got out, man. I told you this oh. Man, this is the first day on the job for this guy. He's just bitching and barking orders the entire time. I don't think I'd make it past lunch. That eat that uh, PKE looking. What the hell? What is up with all these sharks and dinosaurs' teeth falling out? Are they malnourished in these movies or something? They well, bite into something. Always leave a tooth behind. Oh, you got me? Oh, snap. It sounds like in. Oh, it's a cicada. It's back. Oh, we have a kill. Thank God. What the hell is going on? If one more person says, what the hell is going on? That's what I was just thinking. Why did they do that? What three, the heaven three, is going on here? Hey, Ma. Come on, talk to me. Stop, Ma. Well, there's, we need number three now. Yeah, go, 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 go. The monster just went down and shut a latch above its head. Go. Answer him. God, go a root. <laughs> Jesse's like, you think you're fine? Nothing's fine. Nothing's like, fine. I'm trying to chew my gum here. Yeah. I, I picked the wrong day to quit doing coke. <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. I've got more gum. Okay, come here. No, it's gonna be okay, Jesse. Uh, oh, no, uh -huh. <laughs> nope, nope, it's not gonna be fine. I'm, I've been here before. It's a giant Katie dude! Please don't kill Miguel. Son of a bitch. Bitch slap, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, there we go. She's like getting off on watching that. What the hell? Well, you never know until you try it, I guess. You want some tacos? <laughs> or a hamburger? You like That's enchiladas? Something. She's still, like, she's terrified, but she's still got enough wherewithal to chew her gum. Right, that gum never came out. No, she was still chewing, chewing on it. Bad reception on the on the satellite, though. I wonder how many picture pictures at uh, like Comic Con Miguel has the sign of him getting bitch slapped by a dinosaur. Why well, have Velociraptor? I'm looking at myself here. I think pink is my color, bro. 
you, you look divine. You it look. It brings out my face. <laughs> How weird is it that I don't have a goatee right now, man? Every time you've seen me, I've had a goatee. When you had, when you sent me the photo of you in the the pajamas, I almost thought it was an older photo. I thought really? it was just a photo you had from the past, and then you told me what happened. Because I've done that, man. I've screwed up shaving my goatee so many times. Like I'll mess up the curb feeler right here, and I'll have to re—I'll have to take the whole thing off. Yep, I hate it. I—I it, I grow. It grows back pretty fast, but it feels so. I feel naked. Yep, it's no. I just especially, got the shadow. <laughs> especially when it like being a bigger guy for me. If I mess it up, it uh, takes my jawline away. Yeah, that's so, mine. It did that to me here. Yeah, it's important that I have it something. It's like, it's like my jaw is up, like my chin's up here and my cheeks are down. Yeah, it's super weird. And when your beard gets a little thicker, uh, it, it like lengthens your jaw and actually makes your face look slimmer. I call foul. When she got in that helicopter, it was empty, man. <laughs> I told you no ride-alongs today. That dinosaur's like, you didn't, you paid rent for one day. Oh, oh God, get ready for this explosion. You're going to love it. All right. You're going to freaking love this. It's like a model. Get ready. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's not over. Gotta, gotta... <laughs> Boom, goes the dynamite. Never buy, never buy that model uh, of helicopter. It's... The chopper's not gonna work. I don't think. I'm pretty sure you're right there, Mo. That chopper's not airworthy anymore. He is really feely, touchy with that with with Jesse. He's extremely touchy with Jesse, and he, he once again gloves with no fingertips make an appearance. It's carnosaur dress, man. <laughs> Jesse hasn't had a lot of uh, a lot of scenes yet that are standing out to me he's just like been in the diner kind of screwing around in the bobcat and then they strapped him to the table he hasn't done much he's the main guy though he plays a big part we can either stay here we're all gonna die jess we're all gonna die there's a town that way they got a cop that's also the coroner and can't get nothing to eat there because this other guy eats it all already. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we're the we can't eat it. Don't talk to the pregnant women. Do not order the eggs. Whatever you do, don't order eggs at this diner. No eggs. That guy just looks pissy and just kind of like inconvenienced at at most, at best. It's the Ian Malcolm of the, of the man for sure. He's like, this is highly irregular. This is putting me out. The building's pretty small, so he's like. What do they got in there, Donkey Kong? When you gotta act, you gotta act. I know I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. You brought me here and have not explained the mission yet. <laughs> yeah, we haven't actually been told what we're supposed to do. No debriefing has occurred. Okay, here we go. He's finally telling them. Wait a minute. So this movie takes place two months after the first Carnosaur then. That's what it said. Okay. People in rubber suits. They found a way to bring back dinosaurs. Costumes. Right. And I'm Bigfoot and she's a Loch Ness monster. Oh my god, really? They nice went to meet you. Casting for this movie. Yeah, nice, nice to meet you. Blue, so you, you owe me three fifty. Uh, the Loch Ness monster showed up and tried to buy three fifty. You can't give any money. Can't give no money to the Loch Ness monster. You thought wrong. You know, you guys really make me sick. Wait, wait. What are you really trying to say? I just Do said it pretty clearly, woman. Up and walked here. Take off your aluminum foil suspenders and <laughs> open your ears. Take off your rave outfit and listen, lady. Dozens of them. Things have started breeding, see? 
Don't tell me that you guys. They bred in two months. You you oh, you shit. fucked your dinosaurs? Oh shit! Don't tell me that. I'm almost positive the guy with the curly hair who was right here was in My Girl Two. He was in he was in Veda's or My Girl One. He was in Veda's writing class. I think. No, we're gonna have to stand up and be chow for it. The A team or the B team. Let me see if I can't get that system online. I have no idea how to do it, but let's see if I can figure it out. Well, first of all, we're going to have to get past the firewall, and we're going to have okay, to decide what browser we want. Okay, those aren't even attached nothing on her, man. They're just dangling over her shoulders. <laughs> oh, that's a vest. Okay. What the hell? Boy, he's really villaining out right now, isn't he, in that chair? Dude, that seat is not safe, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that seat is the seat they used in Masters of the Universe when Skeletor... Is projecting himself over Eternia. Yeah, let me try. Caught bad movie itis. <laughs> Come on, Reed. I've been hacking into every terminal in this place for the last three months. Trust me. What? Are you crazy? That's illegal. That's classified government property. If you got a better idea, you best shut up. Yeah. Shut up. Let him hack. Whoa, check it out. It's the old caverns. Yeah, inside yeah, it's where Jason the kills all of his prey. Now I'm gonna pull up the EF G H screen. That's where the door locks are. There's dynamite in there. I've seen it. The, that well, if they wanted dynamite, they should have just went to the U shelter and Freddy's dead. They could have got it out of the the toy helicopter before they cracked with it up. Who filled the toy helicopter with all the dynamite we needed for the dinosaurs later? I mean, couldn't they have found stock footage of helicopter explosions from old movies, you know, instead of using a toy? It was so bad, man. That looked like one of the helicopters that your parents would buy you before they buy you an actual helicopter that you yeah. get, like an RC helicopter that's on a string. They get you the string one first. And the back broke off, and you can see, like, the paper on the inside. <laughs> They're like, if we make this helicopter out of balsa wood, we will save so much money on the back end. Did he say get out of my way, McQuack? Uh, I don't know. I, I think he said get out of my way, McQuaid. More, the way he's dressed, it's more like get out of my way, McGruber. <laughs> McGruber! He's just missing the blonde hair. <laughs> McGroover, that's that. You know what? That Will For what is it? Will Forte was that him who did that? Did an upper upper decker on the toilet. You know what an upper decker is, right? No, I don't. What is an upper decker on a toilet? That's where you go to somebody's bathroom and you take a dump in the in the tank instead of the toilet. <laughs> it's an upper back, decker. Back, 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 gone. Is there a more terrifying moment in any person's life when you use the toilet at a friend's house or right. someone else, or someone else's house and the water starts coming back up after you flush? I know what you mean. Or like uh, having to use the bathroom on a date. Oh my gosh! Or like trying to hold a fart in on a date and you're not you have only been dating a short amount of time. After it's over, it's like five minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> End up having, you end up having to go so bad, you just, when you're done, you just go out the window and never call her back. <laughs> you're like, you <laughs> blow a hole straight through your britches and through the car seat. What are you crouching down for? You're literally in this, like, fucking 20-foot high ceiling room. I have to be stealthy when I'm holding this flashlight. Both hands. The dinosaurs got smart. Whoever is in show, whoever hired the electricians on this uh, job site, uh, did a poor job. The monitors are down. The, that's a wall. <laughs> that looked like looked like a pile of barbed wire and a couple buckets. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaurs are building walls, folks. 
Why are they building walls? But to, why would they <laughs> to keep? I, that doesn't make any sense at all. These dinosaurs are getting bored down here. They've learned how to build walls and play solid there. They're actually they've they've evolved to Minesweeper. Whenever my son was five, he asked me for Minecraft, and I had no idea what Minecraft was. And I was like, "Why do you want Minecraft for? Why, that's a computer game." I thought he was talking about Minesweeper. Have you ever tried to actually play Minesweeper for fun, like ever at any point yeah, in your when life? Yeah, when I was when I was like when I used to have like Windows ninety five. Yeah, every time I would click on something, the bombs would just go yeah. off, and I'd just be fucked. I tried playing Minecraft too, and I was like really bad at building stuff. Except for building uh, an audience, uh, Mr. VIP, because your channel's growing. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Shucks. Take a bow. My, my bunny ears will show. <laughs> you get nervous and your ears kind of like bow down a little bit. <laughs> You get excited and they go up. Yeah, they go straight up. If, you, like, if, you, if someone says something you like, they go straight up. <laughs> it's him. What? It's him. Mister, you best get back into that computer right now. Get back inside that computer. I'm in charge of this mission, and I know exactly what I'm doing. I don't know what mission you're talking about, but those things are down there. Now open the door. You still haven't explained the mission to us, sir. <laughs> I am lost. And I had no other choice. We will pull you out when you evacuate. I don't like the way his mouth was adjacent to that mic, and I don't like the way he was holding that mic. Uh, no, he was holding it pretty. Uh, yeah, pretty, uh, you can use your imagination with what I mean by that. McQuaid, I don't know what you're trying to do. Like he was getting ready to lick it. Yeah, it was almost like he's been there before. Looks like he's getting some right there. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, take your hand off the microphone. Here we go. Dude, every, he's getting so close, he's about to start sucking on that mic. <laughs> He's like, you're going to blow the whole place, and I'm going to blow this microphone. <laughs> I don't find it so much there. He's on his way down there right now. He's on his way down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the world's largest Bluetooth. <laughs> Look at that thing on the side of his head. It's a Zach Morris uh, headset. Yeah, it's a Zach Morris Bluetooth. That actually looks like the piece of uh, equipment that came with the G.I. Joe figure dial tone. <laughs> I need this flashlight. Uh, SNL sketch of that dad trying to play, uh, the guy that plays Kylo Ren. Uh, was he was on there and he was uh, playing a dad trying to learn how to play Fortnite so he could play with his son. I've seen clips of that episode. It's uh, like, but like his character's just running against the wall. <laughs> it was him the whole movie. That he, guy. The, the guy who plays Kylo Ren, I, now his name escapes me, but he won't rewatch performances of his own. Yeah, he there's, refuses. There's other actors. The same thing, yeah. Or so they say. I don't know if I believe them. Yeah, I don't know how you would ever improve. Or, like, if because when I'm on the radio or something, I always listen back to see if I used words too much or too so much when dead. I was wrestling, I would film every match like Diamond Dallas Page did. Yeah. So you're like Prince. You're like Prince, then, the musician. Prince would, uh, he, the revolution would have a concert, like a three hour concert. And then right after the concert, they'd all go backstage, and Prince would re-show them the concert, uh, song by song, and go over each thing they messed up. Wow. Yeah, he was really hard to work for, I guess. I want to get a job as a uh, self-destruct countdown voice for a security system. <laughs> Nine, eight. Self-destruct will begin in five minutes. Self-destruct will begin in four minutes and fifty-nine seconds. Self-destruct, fuck. <laughs> this fight scene is never ending. There we go. Ian Malcolm, dollar store. Ian Malcolm to the rescue. I I don't understand what goes through these people's minds when they make these films because there's not oh! anything. Even now, I'm not entertained. <laughs> Boom. This character's got some flair. 
<laughs> yes, yes, no, too much. Just enough. You didn't, you didn't get the flare joke there? Yeah, he had a flare gun. Yeah, so he's got flare. If Come on, we're going to take you fishing, bitch. If you choose to do the bare minimum uh, <laughs> with your flare, you know, look at uh, look at VIP Joss LaRue over there. He's got a bunny suit on, and he's got 47 buttons. <laughs> so are you my asking? job is to <laughs> suck on microphones and beat up people. Going on here. Listen, I need a man who looks like he's going to go fishing and who looks like he's performed a fellatio on a microphone before. Are you that man? Yes, I am. <laughs> and I can do the time warp again. What? What is it? What? What? Huh? Super, it's super califragilistic expialy doses. <laughs> a, a suppository? So not only are we dealing with dinosaurs, but you're going to shove... No, a repository. We, what I want to know is if these dinosaurs are sponge-worthy. <laughs> yes, we're kidding. It was all a joke. You figured it out. We were Step kidding down. you. <laughs> Recline on this chair. Lay down on this chair. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you about your childhood. This is a classified facility. It's strictly need to know. You didn't need to know. You're in here doing a repair job. You guys are all. Wait, it's a repair job? I thought it was a rescue mission. Yeah, he, I'm getting mixed signals here from this guy. What the hell are we doing? And are you gonna pay us? And I was told there'd be punch and pie and lunch. Punch and pie. And there's x-rays of somebody's lungs on the wall. What the hell's up with this? Is this like doubling as a mine shaft in a doctor's office? Like a... What the hell? And why do, that, why do they need these gigantic flashlights when every room in this facility is extremely well lit and they have strobe light uh, lighting also everywhere? Look how many black lights are in this room. And what is up with the graphs that look like the uh, president's graphs from that interview? <laughs> Uh oh! But, but look at the orange. Look at the orange. See, the orange is higher than the blue. Yeah, it's getting and it's getting bigger. <laughs> and, and D is a bigger letter than A. Wait a minute! You're trying to tell me that orange is bad? Okay, so D, we're in deep shit here. Yeah, because B is be smart about it, and you will see <laughs> that damage will be done because of D. It was built to deal with dinosaurs, dynamite, and repairmen. And now there's warheads down there? What the fuck? Dynamite, warheads, dinosaurs. It's a triple D. <laughs> diners, drive-ins, and dinosaurs. Drivers? Or dri diners, dinosaurs, dynamite? <laughs> and dildos. Oh, listen, put it on the big screen. There's still got to be some kind of link to the network, you know, some kind of emergency line in case there's ever an accident. We find out how to crash that, they've got to know something's up. They're going to send an evacuation team. That kid's smarter than all of us. Yeah, and he's not hes not grieving at all. His dad just got slaughtered in front of him in that diner. Uh, when he was on Saved by the Bell, this Listen. never happened at the max. That's the one they would use to try to get in here. I guess we missed it. I thought he said put it on the big screen. I think it was earlier. You're talking about some dark Saved by the L Saved by the Bell episodes, man. I'd rather watch an episode of Saved by the Bell where the Max gets burnt down and Zack and uh, Slater show back up. And well, somebody just class. punches Max, the magician guy. <laughs> Ed Alonzo. It's like, Max, I want my burger, and I want my orange soda with no ice in it where my straw floats, and I'm not going to eat it, and I'm not going to pay for it. We're just going to sit here. Yeah, we're just going to sit here and not eat our food. They never eat their food in it. It drives me nuts. Here's the thing, guy. we got to hurry. The dinosaurs are building walls and, and arming warheads now. They are bored out of their minds. because they have nothing to eat. Yeah, no okay. one's used, used the bathroom or eaten in a while. Are those, like... What is that on the... This place is so confused. It can't make up its mind what it is exactly. All right, remember her costume? Because when we watch part three and four, her death scene is, like, shown for other characters. Okay. Okay. 
How can you forget her co costume? Nothing. Still trying to find the shutdown codes. Shut. I found the shutdown codes. It's A one. Stick with it. A B C one two three. The shutdown code is actually password. <laughs> P A S S D O W O R D. He's setting up tripwire because they're going to pull the dinosaur out of their dreams and try. <laughs> they're going to pull the dinosaur out of their dreams and confront that, it music. in the real world. Dun, 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 dun. That uh, lay in the trap song from Nightmare. <laughs> uh, Jesse, what are you doing over there? I'm into survival. Uh, Jesse. <laughs> hey, he's going to play that song that Jesse dances to. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> All this song reminds me of is Bugs Bunny. Yeah. They're going to drop anvils on uh, the dinosaur's heads. Get, get my father, you asshole! There's a dinosaur over here! What's your status? Main doors are wired and ready. We're on our way back. See you at Austin. Awesome. Home again, home again. Chicken and job. What? Oh, this is Ops. Still trying. Dude, you said you knew how to do it. Unacceptable. Ryan Thomas Johnson, you took too long, man. You got people killed. Ryan Thomas Johnson uh, knows how to operate heavy machinery. He knows how to hack. He's smarter than everybody else in this entire film. He's got a pedophile uh, looking at him throughout the entire uh, movie as well, and he's operating... At, you know, he's he's under high pressure. Here. And the and dinosaurs want life. nothing to do with him. <laughs> like, he's lucky. He's like dinosaur. 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 He is dinosaur repellent. <laughs> I, I Red... can't believe I talk like that for real a second ago. He is dinosaur repellent. Dude, dinosaurs, everyone knows dinosaurs hate uh, cinnamon and red flannels. And hackers. And hackers. Especially the Russian variety. Dinosaurs hate pepper, or love pepper. They hate cinnamon. I'm scared. And they hate fear. They can they can smell it, and they do not care for the smell. That guy it, saw the video game Bad Dudes, and he's like, I need those gloves. I'm just waiting for that guy to go, you ever seen two grown men wrestle? <laughs> yeah. Do you watch <laughs> movies with gladiators in them? Gladiators. <laughs> and here comes Leslie Nelson in a second. Just want to tell you both, we're counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> we just watched air. We just we just watched airplane like last week. Surely you didn't watch it last week. <laughs> I am, I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Bingo. Yeah, he, Jesse's actually busy playing Keno right now. You ever play Slingo back in the AOL days? Yes. I was addicted to that shit. Yeah, that was fun. Is he going to mix some music? Or? He's a club DJ uh, at night. I told you they figured out how to arm the warheads. DJ Jesse on the ones and twos. <laughs> it's time for Alex and Josh in the morning. You're listening to 99.1 KMAG. <laughs> K-R. K-R-G-E-R. Kruger where Radio. And your we... dreams at all hours. We slash the best tracks. You little scamp, Jesse. Good job. You just blew up. Wait a second. They didn't cut away there, so it looked like that room blew up. <laughs> He's walking like he has to take a crap, and he can't find the bathroom. That one guy just looks like he has to puke all the time. The main guy? It's yeah. like really way too into Jesse. He almost became Dr. Doom. There's no way that they can get through. I'm just ahead. <laughs> well, they're screwed. The dinosaurs in that in that scene specifically look better than some of the dinosaurs that were in the first film. I know, right? Seriously, they did. Well, they made it. They made $800,000 on that first 
movie. This movie is better than the first one so far. It is. It's funner. It's not as... They've learned how to use elevators and hatches. <laughs> and cell phones. They've learned how to macrame. They've, <laughs> they've also learned how to save. <laughs> They're in there. They're in there whittling. <laughs> Dude, they straight stole that sound from Jurassic Park. All right, here we go. Elevator. That's got to be safe, right? All right, guys. Unless they learned how to reverse engineer, I think we're okay. Over the. All right, here's the death you got to remember. All right, I'll make a mental note of it. Really cool effect coming up, though. They keep saying Jesus, and earlier it said Jesus Christ, look. Well, there's another flashlight. Good thing they need it, but as bright as the place is. What's he going to do? Oh, damn, you just handed him your arm. Oh, snap. That was a pretty good thing, right? Good that effect. wasn't bad. Don't oh. shoot, I'm an unarmed woman. That was brutal. Okay, I can't tell if she's in pain or getting off on it. Okay, she, she's in pain. Sorry. <laughs> when BDSM goes wrong. More at 11 with the Slash Track News Team. You should always write the safe word down, woman. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know what? If that's what you get for not being prepared. Safe word is stop, stop, for the love <laughs> of God, stop. <laughs> that's my safe word. The safe word is I'm dying. My, my safe word is uh, my credit card is fine. Why is everybody touching Jesse? That now the now the MacGruber's touching Jesse. That guy is like such an overactor at the scene for there's desperation. Yeah, he reminds me of like a broken down, busted ass dollar store version of Joe Piscopo. I like him though. He's my favorite character. Such. That guy, all that guy wanted to do was go fishing. <laughs> He's like uh, Lieutenant Murtaugh, man. He just he wanted to retire and go to the lake with Joe Pesci. Come on, Ian. Dollar, Dollar Tree, Ian Malcolm. <laughs> but no, Je Jesse is, like, the best character in this film, yeah. and he's also the most believable actor of everybody on this screen. He did, a, he did really good in this movie. Yes, he did. He's trying to turn chicken shit into chicken salad, and he's doing the best he can. Wow, that dinosaur is drunk or something. Do you see the way its vision was? Hey, at least, the, at least, the, you know where they got all the dynamite, right? Where? From the confiscation locker from uh, Freddy's Dead. Oh, absolutely. Spencer left that for, for him. <laughs> it, it landed in a neat pile of dinosaur limbs. Hell yeah. That's that's the punchline. I thought he was ouch. about to give us like a funny clip there, and he failed us. He just said, "Ouch." Dude, get lower. Whenever I had to do the limbo when I was a kid, the 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 stakes weren't quite this high. It was uh, I was at the skating rink, and it was if I was going to get an icy pop or not, not life <laughs> or death. Yeah, I didn't I didn't have men in rubber dinosaur costumes chasing me. <laughs> That How was later low? on in the night. <laughs> How low can you go? Hey, did you ever go to the skating rink when you were a kid and you oh, couldn't take? Yeah, but you couldn't take the skates off when you went to the bathroom. So oh, I'm no. like trying, I'm trying to balance myself while I need to take a piss. I'm like holding my hand on the wall, pissing all over these rented skates. The guy who's behind the counter who's got to collect the skates at the end is putting his hand all over skates that were covered in piss. <laughs> He's making minimum wage. Right. Okay. What a horrible job. Yeah, they weren't spraying disinfectant. They were just spraying air freshener to get rid yeah. of the smell. Yeah, they weren't. I mean, those skates were covered in piss. Oh, he's all—he's a hero all of a sudden. 
It, oh, he had to have a redemption redemption arc, man. He, well, gonna yeah, make, buddy, gonna make is he really going to have redemption when he's the one who kind of brought them into this hellacious situation in the first place? Without giving them any, any heads up. Of anything. Yeah, he's oh, the here blame. we go. We, we, get, we get the trope here. It was a pleasure playing with you all. Remember on Titanic? Yes. When the boat's going down. <laughs> with Demon Knight, when the lady pulls the nade thing. That would be my final words. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. He's all alone with the guy now. Poor yeah, Jesse. Th yeah, things are working out quite well for for this guy. That yeah. guy's like... Dude, trust me. Let him fall. <laughs> Carnosaur like, Reed is like... Give me five seconds. Carnosaur oh, 3. Now, buddy. Carnosaur 3 is just that guy chasing Jesse around uh, right. in the apartment. Carnosaur 3. Now, what's a good tagline? <laughs> um, so, that guy cared about Jesse because Jesse and him both like the Dodgers. That's what... Exactly. Okay. And fingerless gloves. I'm going to get help. <laughs> yeah. There's nobody... Jesse's by himself right now. That's it. Carnosaur there. 3, Registry Resurrection. Uh-oh, dude. Look like you're running down to the Tyrannosaur paddock, part one. Oh, here comes our first reuse footage coming up soon. Okay. Or maybe it's after this when they... No, I think they use some of the footage. But a lot of stuff... Part that time lapse made him look like a flash. Oh, here comes Michael McDonald. My name is Jesse Turner. There's no time. We gotta go save Reed. Kids, the others, where are they? I just said we gotta go save Reed. Michael McDonald, man. What I can do? So he has one line. No, uh, he might have. He gets a lot more in part three, trust me. Does he play the same character in part three? No, hell no. No, he's a cop in part three. Be hotter than the sun in a witch's bra. It's gonna be hotter It's gonna be hotter than the hinges on the gates of Hades, Jesse. Now get the hell out of there! <laughs> get away from them dinosaurs. <laughs> Wait, five seconds, five minutes, five hours? You didn't... Five days? <laughs> five scenes? God, please don't tell me there's five more scenes in this film. Those guys back there arguing by the helicopter over who gets the next line. It's my line. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch, you tried to steal the scene. We'll get a two-minute heads. Whoever, that place has got to be hot as hell. None of the fans are on high. Wait a minute. This guy's back is broke. He's right. going back to save this dude? No, I've you're... got to pipe up my ass. Yeah, come on, dude. The, 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 the dinosaurs aren't the only puppet now. That pipe is uh, using his butthole as a, like, work in the mouth right now. It's a reed sickle. Reed kebab. Come, this is ridiculous. His back is just busted in half. There's no way. I know what it's like to have your back busted in half, man. Yeah, he's. If it, if Jim Ross was calling uh, was on the call with us right now. Oh my God, Reed's busted in two. I had I had four discs herniated instantly, and I couldn't move. You saw me in the video trying to get up, and I fall back down. Right. You did watch that video, didn't you? Yes, it's hard to watch. Huh? It's hard to watch. Oh. No, knowing that you get hurt. You did see me try to get up, though, right? To finish yeah. the match? It looked like you were trying to do a setup, but you couldn't do it. That's when I realized, yeah, I think I broke my back. 
I thought I was yeah. just winded. No, that was hard to watch, man. But I did. I tried like hell to finish that match, man. And then when I realized how bad it was, I just laid down. Okay, T-Rex. I can just picture them filming it. Some guys just like got the legs on sticks and just, you know, taking steps. It looks oh. like it looks like the monster in the Doug the Nicktoon cartoon when he sees the monster with the zipper on the back of the suit. Yep. Hey, at least this T Rex knows how it's strong enough to hold its head up. <laughs> it's not a it's, it's not a bobblehead T Rex. No, looks like it's all right. That wasn't very... That wasn't so bad. This is actually not bad right here. No. I think we'll be all right unless it's learned how to use an elevator. It's been five. <laughs> <laughs> it's been five, damn it. Take off, take off. It was it hasn't been four and it's not yet six. God damn it, he came back at five point five. They're wearing outfits like they're gonna go crabbing uh, in the Alaskan uh, <laughs> sea. Or kill somebody with the hook hand. Yeah, next on Deadliest Catch. They're not just going after crab this season, they're going after carnosaurs. Beep beep boop boop. Alright, is this helicopter, can it fly higher than five feet? I need to know. We're gonna find out, aren't we? What, why does Jesse keep going back in? He's like, Monk! Give him five! If he's not back, if he's not back in three! Oh my god. That's I all that's my... left of Monk is in that backpack. He's, I, I have my book, re book report in there, and there's no way I'm rewriting that. Okay, I counted three guys earlier. Where did the fourth guy come from? Is he just added in to get eaten? Yeah, this is it. This is uh, this was added after. They're like, we need one more death. Whoa! Good God, he's not getting ahead in the business. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Jesus Christ! All right, here we go. I think we get some reused footage because he's on a forklift. Yep, and we're gonna go to the Bobcat a bit. I think for just like a split second. Give him five. Reed's doing uh, amazingly well for having broke his back about ten minutes ago. Do you remember how they said a while ago it was core meltdown in seven minutes, and it's been yes. like twelve minutes ago? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Are you done throwing that guy around like a rag doll when his body was, like, bigger than your mouth? Yeah, is he going to eat it or what? He, didn't his mother dinosaur ever tell him not to play with his food? Ooh, this dinosaur thinks, too. Some of those shots are reused, by the way, from the first movie of the T-Rex. Sure it is. Remember the T-Rex bleeding at the mouth in the first one? Yeah. It's like, my father died similarly... I will get my vengeance upon thee. Dinosaur versus forklift, the battle of the century. <laughs> Forklifts, my only weakness. Dude, he would have knocked that some bitch over. I have so many questions for Jesse. I do too. I wonder how long this shoot was. I want to know what the mission was. I want to know how old he was supposed to be. I want to know why the sky's blue. I want to know why this uh, film franchise has four entries. It's actually only got three. There isn't a fourth? Yeah, there's a fourth, but they couldn't... They lost the name to it. <laughs> it's a different what? company. Different company, same movie makers. It's, it's part four, but it's not. Here we go. My luck, this would be where the where the propane ran out and the forklift stopped. God damn it, Bob, you forgot to replace it. The only job you had on third shift was restock in the propane third tank. Sh third shift. <laughs> huh? Third shift is a fancy way to say graveyard. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. 
There's there's the guy that's got the job of like the feet on sticks. Yeah, I think the forklift scene is what gets repeated a lot in the other movies. But a couple of the the T Rex shots in part one. Nobody thinks to help this kid. They're just watching. You know, like, ooh, I hope the suspense will last. He's got two left. He's pushing it. <laughs> he is pushing it. <laughs> oh, God. That dinosaur just straight up threw a canister at him. Yeah, that was all of Freddy versus Jason. Man the torpedoes. torpedoes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think the dinosaur just thinks they're playing. <laughs> I don't think the dinosaur <laughs> realizes that if it loses, it's going to die. He's got one. Next on the Discovery Channel, Dinosaurs versus Forklifts. Forklift dinos. <laughs> there's the there's the fuck guy again. He got a shot. There was a shot from part one. Did you see it right there? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and the mouse all bloody. Yep. <laughs> Jesse is actually why dinosaurs went extinct. Shot from behind. There's another shot from part one. Oh my god, so blatantly part one. Let's get all the shots in we can. The Bonds, Carnosaur 2. It's okay, guys. The dinosaur's back is fine. His <laughs> yeah. son's going to go down there and help him out in a minute. Okay. Yeah, Reed, Reed's like... That, that's fine. That's just a flesh wound. He's fine. That dinosaur's fine. There's a raptor up there going, We can't go. We can't leave without without Ryan. Gotta go back to Ryan. Oh, and they call him the kid the whole movie. Uh, that's another thing I've noticed. They never called him Jesse. The kid. Not like on, on uh, Breaking Bad. They hope everybody calls Jesse. That Pinkman guy. The only time, the only person that actually calls him Jesse is the one who's trying to sleep with him. Everybody else is like that Pinkman. <laughs> is it that Pinkman? Kid, you're lucky. You had 15 left seconds. You didn't even have one anymore. <laughs> yeah, we told you five, kid. We mean five. Hey, with kids, you give a kid a five and they take a ten. I wonder if that guy ended up getting paid for this job. His boss is dead. The remote. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, that helicopter's still flying low, too. I'm starting to think they didn't get permission to fly in some airspace. Yeah, that, that was only seven minutes ago when that started, sure. <laughs> you can mount network community. One. Yeah? Hit it. Okay, why did he have to hit a remote if there was a countdown? That's exactly what I just thought. I was like, what's the <laughs> point? So he's supposed to be like, it's a reminder to hit the button. And I'm sorry they did not get far enough away to be safe from nuclear warheads going off. It's okay, it was on autopilot. Batman's still alive. Yeah, we're fine. He's in Paris with Catwoman. I used to have a friend that swore up and down that that was just Alfred's wishful thinking. I was like, nope, that was the way it was ended. That's the way it was written. They even did the whole thing with the autopilot. Why would they do that if it was just hallucination? He was one of those guys that had to be right about everything. I know quite a few people like that, and they suck. 
called sociopaths. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> he was a sociopath. Like, he was a mask wearer and everything, man. Really? Yeah, like, he, after I was friends with him for, like, 15 years, and he just, spot, his mask finally fell off. Bad guy. And, uh, kind of like this movie. It was wearing a mask, and then it fell off, and it... And it was wearing a mask of a horrible movie, and then I actually enjoyed this movie a little bit. Hey, they actually got the credits correct for this film. Yeah, they're not going at, uh, back ass roots, so... Yeah, this is, this is correct. They did it correct. Well, they had the extra money, because they made the extra... The million dollars from the production what budget. Gosh, the first what up, Alex Slash Track? What's going on? I'm busting in the damn head. So you guys shut up.